Hello everyone and welcome back to NewTek. Today we're going to show you how to connect your MSFit GTS2 with Zap app in Android. So let's begin here immediately by opening the app. As you can see, we already installed it. We have three pages down below the third page. As you can see, is the profile. We have my device, press new device, and we can scan the QR code that we have in the watch right here. As you can see, it's very easy. It's scanned immediately. So we have to wait until they are paired. And you can see we have to accept the pairing request in the GTS2. And when you accept it, you basically are done with this job. You have the watch connected. You can see the watch is turned on right now and you are able to use it. You can see the screen is showing the requests, uh, the options for the voiceover. You can see all the options here and the brightness full. Now we can see clearly the GTS2 and this was it in just a couple of seconds you already connected so back at the first page as you can see we have here the data for steps day week month or year statistic you can see we have total distance total time and total calories and next we have the calories day week or month statistic as you can see false walk light walk and all kinds of information and basically we have next the sleep day week month or year statistic you can see hours of sleep that you did for one day deep sleep light sleep and so on next we have the heart rate as well you can see the statistic light highest lowest and average heart rate next we have the blood oxygen as you can see day week month and year statistic maximum minimum and average as well and after that we will find stress day week month and year statistic as you can see again average minimum and maximum of the stress that you did we have next the PAI as you can see we are earning something we have the body consumption, which we don't have any information right now, but you can see the statistics are there. And we have the tools at the bottom. So this is for the first page. At the second page, we are sorting from alarm clock, event reminder, find device and watch face. You can see at the watch face, we have plenty of options to choose. As you can see, they are loading. And now we are able to see what we can download. You can see up to date, top, and customize background so we have plenty of options to choose in this store let's go with uh, this one as you can see very classic and let's see how fast it will take to download you can see very fast uh, synchronization and now we will wait in just under one minute just a couple of seconds honestly this will be done which is a very good thing to have in the, this watch so you know that you can change your watch faces every day or whenever you feel like it after that we will find friends here that we can add my goal target for steps weight height etc we have phone as you can see call via watch so if you turn this on and connect the watch with your phone from Bluetooth, you can make phone calls and accept calls in the GTS2. You can see in the Bluetooth in the settings, you have to go here, press new device and wait until it finds the GTS. You can see MSV GTS2, press it. And press pair now in both of the devices in phone and the watch as well and as you can see currently connected we have MSFit GT2 now they are paired and we can make phone calls from the GTS and accept calls as well so that is a good uh, feature that we have in new MSFits same as the GTR that we posted before after incoming calls, we have app alerts. As you can see, the app, app notification is on. Even though it's sensing, we have the vibration mode and unlock screen, the two other options that we have in the second page. 
So this was for the second page. Let's go ahead and see what we got in the third page, which is profile. We saw when we connect, as you can see, we have my devices, all the devices that we connected. We are, we are here at the GTS, as you can see, we saw both of these, all of these options. At the health monitoring, we have quite a few health monitoring turned on to see all the health that throughout the day. Here we have display and brightness. All these options are in the watch as well, but it's good to have them in the app so you can customize them from the app. We have auto brightness, auto screen off, always on display. And next we have the sound and notifications, band lock. We have wearing manner, offline audio, wake up mode which we can turn on all of three of these and we have the system language at the bottom so we can change the language whenever we want we have next app list shortcut cards you can allow it and customize it and after that we saw the phone that we allowed before as you can see it's already turned on and we next we have the music where you can as you can see it opens all the folders and basically you can upload some of the music from your phone to your watch and listen it in your watch because we know that gts and gtr as well both of them has storage so you can fill up the storage with music and listen it in your watch as you can see immediately i selected test one two and three and you can see now they are filling up or transferring from the phone to the watch which is a really good uh, option in this new Misfits. after that we have find watch discoverable activity heart rate sharing bind limits running background system update about this device and offline audio command words again and unpair at the bottom in case we want to connect with another msfit device so basically this is what we have here in the Zap app for MSFit GTS 2. And these are all the options that we have here. We allowed a bunch of things, we customized a bunch of things. So you, if you own one of these MSFits, go ahead and customize each one of them for your preference. So guys, this was all for today's video. I hope you find this video interesting and helpful. If so, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you in the next video with another smart device.